Acts chapter 16, verse 35 to 40. And when it was day, the magistrates sent the signs, saying, Let those men go. And the keeper of the prison told this saying to Paul, The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now therefore, depart and go in peace. But Paul said unto them, They have beaten and humiliated us openly uncondemned. Be Romans and have cast us into prison. And now they thrust us out privately, nay, verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. And the subjects took these ways unto the magistrates. And they feared when they heard that they were Romans. And they came and besought them and brought them out and desired them to depart out of the city. And they went out of the prison and entered into the house of Lydia. And when they had seen their brethren, they comforted them and departed. I am preaching this morning on the topic of a power in your oppressors. Amen. Brethren in the Lord, this is the case of men that we are humiliated before the crowd. Men that we are brought out of the city and flogged and beaten. Men that we are insulted. Men that we are called names. Men that we are put in jail for doing nothing. What they came when they decided to show what is in them. And the following day, the magistrate decided to set them free privately. And they started to be for the witness and they said to the man that brought the message we cannot take this we, we are humiliated publicly we, we are called names publicly we, we are laughed at publicly therefore we cannot go in private I have come to tell that man here people laughed at you that you don't have money publicly they laughed at you that you don't have a job publicly. The main gist of your name after this service, the Lord is going to give you a public blessing. The Lord is going to give you a public breakthrough. The Lord is going to give you a public testimony. You are humiliated in private. They are humiliated in the public. They will come and see your testimony in public. You walk with your leg in public. Yeah. You will drive your car in public. Yeah, ah, you are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. They laughed at you in the public. You are not going to celebrate in the private. <laughs> you are going to celebrate in the public. Those that laughed at you, the time has come for them to see the glory of God in you. In the first note, he was saying something. He said he remembered the day he came to me. He remembered the time I clothed him. He said he was walking and people started coming out. Is he not the same guy that was begging? How manage that his life has changed? How manage that he's wearing suit? Oh, child of God. Oh, I remember one of our brothers in the past, past brother Obi. He said to me, when I bought car, all the people in the whole house came to test drive my car. They want that how manage. When they look at the car, they look at me, they call me Obi. How manage. I am here to tell you that that thing that humiliated you, that thing that made you a laughing like a show, that thing that made men to laugh at you, that thing that made men to look at on you, that thing that made men to call you never. That's the thing, that's the thing. That's the thing is about to, to an 
pronounce you wrong. Tell them it is that father to bring you up. Tell them it is that father to put her case in you. Tell them it is that father to your testimony. They said, ah, you humiliated us. How then do you come and pass a judgment we should live in the private? It was you that made chest of us. It was you that beat us publicly. How do you now say I must celebrate my victory in private? How do you now say I'm making noise? Why is he making noise? Because God gave him a car. Why would you tell that noise? Because God gave me a car. When I was walking with him, didn't you see me? Because God connected me. When I was not connected, didn't you see me? When I didn't have something to celebrate, didn't you see me? How bad do you want me to celebrate in secret? God is about to give you a testimony. The one that the public, ah, uh, that's something that made you to cry in the secret. That thing that made the public to make jest of you is about to announce you. Is about to announce you. Paul said, we are not going to live privately. We refuse to live privately. We refuse to depart privately. You say we should go in peace. We agree we will go in peace, but not in private. They went and told the magistrate. And the magistrate said, it is true. They brought them out and announced that they're innocent. I don't know who is accusing you wrongly. I don't know the name they are calling you wrongly. But after this service, God is going to do a miracle that will make people who call you names to call you excellency. So everyone has oppressor. Everyone has something oppressing them. There is an oppression whether you like it or not. That is why I've come this morning to join my faith with somebody. That, all, that oppression in your family, we will overpower you tonight. We will overpower you this morning. We will overpower you today. We will overpower you today. When I want to come show this, uh, the, mind, the thing that came to my mind is freedom from oppressors. I said, no. Can you really get free without overpowering? You really get free without being that overpowering. Something needs to happen for the oppressor to look at you and say, Go. Something needs to happen. So that was why when the Egyptians, when the Israelites wanted to leave Egypt, God didn't want them to just go. So something needs to happen. They can't just go. Yes. First of all, we're going to show the God of Egypt that they are nothing. He no. said, Moses, just throw a snake. Throw a staff, snake will appear. They tried and did it. He said, see them. And the Bible says, suddenly, the snake of Moses, Aaron, the stroke snake, developed a huge mouth and began to swallow. Yes. Yes. And began to swallow their own snakes. Many miracles were wrought, but never, never was it in the mind of Pharaoh and his army that the river can depart, oh. that, that the river can part ways, that the Red Sea can make way. Yeah. So God, the Bible says, if you read the Bible very well, it said God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. So Pharaoh was not with his clear eye. He was oppressing them with not with, with God's hardened heart. Do you want to let them go? But God said, I, I have not finished proving myself. No. I have not finished showing who I am. There's need for me to show something here. Oh, yeah. That in eternity, yeah. Egypt will remember Israel. And Israel will remember their God. Something needs to happen. I don't know who is holding you captive. God is about to do something in your life. Amen. I don't know what is making you to be ashamed. God is about to do something. Amen. God is about to shake the horizon of your life.
your village. Your testimony is about to shake the city. Amen. Men, are, are, your name is about to be ringing bell. Oh, yes. Say, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm going to show Egypt that I'm God. Pharaoh will come and say, you should go. And God said, no, I'm not still down. There's one more power I want them to remember. I want the whole sons, first sons to die. They have to pay for this. I speak upon your life. The man who kept you the way you are is about to pay for what they did. The woman who did what you are suffering is about to pay for what they did. Because God is about to allow them to go to the place. He said, they have to pay for their first sons. The Bible said that day, as they approached, Pharaoh have said they should go. Everyone has said they should go. In fact, people even gave them gold. Gave them silver. That was the brother of Egypt. They go with everything. But suddenly God said, am I done? This army that have been flogging these people. I need to show them something. This army that have been flogging my, my, my people. I need to show them that I am God. So I'm not down. I will go once more and harden the heart of Pharaoh. He must try and persuade them to cheer those people. Thinking that the Red Sea will not part. Child of God, the Bible said, as they have approached the Red Sea, the Pharaoh night suddenly remembered, how should I let this oppressed go? I need to oppress them for that, not knowing that he need to die. They go after them. As they approach them, the Bible said, God has said, Moses, speak oh. in the sea. Turn now and take the sea to the pathways and in the pathways. I am God that make it way. Amen. In case you forget the God you serve, yes. I am consuming fire. Oh, yeah. I am God that make it way. I make ways in the wilderness. I part the seas. There's nothing too much for me to do. I created the heaven and earth without Peter. Nobody knows where the Peter exists. It's in my palms. I have I cannot the whole earth in my hand. I declare and I decree what happens. If you can just stand before me, just speak of the sea. The Bible said that Moses said, see, please that way. For the people of God are about to make way. The people of God are about to move. The Bible said that the man that is in control of the sea looked up and he saw Moses and he saw the people of God and he said we cannot stop them. Who who God has blessed, no one can cause. If God is with them, we cannot be against them. God is with these people because we have seen them. We have seen their God in them. We need to allow them to pass. The Bible says the sea men away. The seed made way. The seed made way. When the seed made way, the armies of Pharaoh thought it's a solution. When God will do this testimony, the testimony I'm seeing, <laughs> your family members will think it's a solution. When you will meet this man that will change your life, when God will bring this helper that will change your life, people will think it's as usual. Amen. Uh, I hear you, sir. Something is about to happen. The army thought it was as usual. When the people passed peacefully, they said, let's go. They suddenly saw the seas closing. They could not run back. They could not run forward. The seas closed. Something baffled me somewhere. The Bible said when they chased the people of Israel, the Lord slowed their speed and increased the speed of Israel. Something is about to happen in your life. God is about to put speed in your, in your feet. God is about to put speed in your business. Something is about to happen in your business. Ah, God is about to do something. God is about to raise you. God is about to lift you. Something is about to happen. I'm telling you. Something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. Your marriage is about to shake the city. 
Trust is about to happen. Your business is about to receive the supernatural power of God. Trust is about to happen. God is about to announce your name. God is about to check your CV. God is about to pay for somebody. God is about to get you a millionaire. God is about to lift in somebody. God is about to heal in somebody. God is about to do something miraculous. Man will look at you and say, This is God. Amen. This is God. Some oppressors are everywhere. Don't make mistake to think there is no oppression. The word oppression it presents to exploit. So when we talk about oppression, we talk about exploiters of your destiny. When we talk about exploit, we talk about blockers of your blessings. When we talk about oppressors, we are talking about forces that are taking advantage. Taking advantage of your goodness, your kindness. Taking advantage of your blessings. I, 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 as I was praying, and I said, I am here in this service to declare, if there is anybody that is eating the fruit of your level, God will not have taught them today. God will not have taught them. I mean, people who are still in it. Secretly stealing the fruit of your level. You labor for it, but they are enjoying it. Why you are suffering? God is not have taught the devil today. Oppressors hinder. Oppressors stay. Oppressors rule you by force. The achievement is your is your tears. They enjoy seeing your tears. I have come to tell somebody that you are not going to cry anymore. Amen. Suddenly, we are fighting wrong battles. Are you hearing me? We are fighting wrong battles. We are thinking that people are our, 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 our oppressors. First, the oppressor. The chief oppressor is the devil. The devil who enters your husband to oppress you. The devil who enters your wife to oppress you. The devil who enters your boss to oppress you. The devil who enters your child to oppress you. There are people in this service. What they are, are what they, they are, what they are crying for is for their child to change. The oppressed, the oppression they are having is their children. They look at their child. This is not how my child ought to behave. My child, where did you let this? Who taught you this? I have trained you well. Why are you behaving like this? The oppressor has entered. Say, why men slept? The enemy went and saw a rock seed. The book of Proverbs said, it said, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. Your husband is a blessing that should make you rich. How then is he causing you sorrow? Oppressor. The oppressor. Your wife is a blessing. Say he that finds the wife, find it good thing and obtain it favor. From the Lord. How come? Your pressure. Your child. The children are the blessings of the parents. How come your child is causing you sorrows? The oppressor. The oppressor. No one that. In Matthew chapter 16. No matter. God, Jesus looked at Peter and said, Satan, get behind me. 
me. This is not Peter speaking. The oppressor has entered. The oppressor is inside Peter. The oppressor is oppressing me from Peter. To come out of oppressor, to overcome oppressor, child of God, the Bible said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12, it said from the day of the birth of John the Baptist, he said the kingdom of God suffered violence and violent taken him by force. Child of God, time has come when you have to be violent about what belongs to you. When you shall look at your marriage and say, no, this is not my marriage, this is not what I prayed. I need to chase oppressor away from this marriage. You look at your ministry and you say, this is not what I am looking for. This is not what I want for. Oppression is to go. You look at your job. Something is going wrong. Oppression is to go. You look at your finances. Something is not right. Oppression is to go. You look at everything around you. Ah, oppressors need to leave. and dislocated it. <laughs> you need to offer power by all means. If you want to enjoy life, it was over power by all means. The word of our power comes from addition of power. It comes from doubling the power. It comes from increasing the power of appearing Power's day, or power's day. You cannot win this devil the way you are, you are, you are like a desperate. God cannot do your part. There is a part you must play. And can I tell you something? God is waiting for you to do your part. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. But you must make your move. The Egyptians you see today, you must see them normal. But there's need for you to make a move towards this. Let's see. You cannot be in Egypt and say you don't want to see Egypt again. Somebody did not hear me. You cannot be in Egypt. And you are saying that you don't want to see Egypt again. You have to come out of the boundary. Moses declared it when he was at the boundary. He said, look, hear me. Don't mind this Red Sea. It's about to part away. But you see these Egyptians you see today. See them back. You shall see them no more. Doesn't mean that you will not have to cross border anymore. You shall see them no more mean that they will drown here. <laughs> because they are not ready, yet, yet ready to leave us. Every stubborn power that is chasing you will turn today. Amen. Every stubborn power that is chasing you will turn today. Amen. I say they will turn today. Amen. 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 The only language the oppressors understand is force. So you cannot humble yourself before oppression. They don't understand the language of, of humility. They will exploit it. The only language they understand is force. 
That is why I said, the violent, and they didn't hear you. The violent. <laughs> go to God divide it yeah, shall take it by force the people's choice in Nigeria is to say calm down we are going to court we are going to make a way the, we trust in the judiciary <laughs> the violence they go to God we have sorted them out You don't understand. I'm talking about Nigeria here. How to overpower the oppressors? Number one, spiritual empowerment. God, give me, uh, uh, help me to run this thing now in 10 minutes. Spiritual empowerment. Get spiritual empowerment. Spiritual empowerment. Child of God, I have come to realize that when God calls his people, he does not give them money, he gives them power. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, he said, Jesus now called his disciples and gave them. for power to make money. Ask him for power to make world. Don't say give me money, say give me power. In the throne of he said, I am the God who gives you power to make words. He doesn't give you words, he gives you power to make it. God does not give you words, he gives you what? To make a world. So say, God, give me power to make a world. What you need is empowerment. Moses was running from Pharaoh until he was empowered. The day he received empowerment, he went back to what was pursuing him. <laughs> he didn't understand that. He was declared personal non grata in the country. He was declared wanted. He was declared and shoot and kill. But when the power came, he went by the same route. When they saw him, they stopped discussing about what he did. But the power he came back with. Somebody here is going with power. Amen. Somebody here is going home with power. Somebody here is going home with power. Somebody here is going home with power. When Jehu was empowered, he suddenly realized that somebody is sitting on his throne. His eyes opened. He ran and began to command. When David was empowered, he stood before the lawyer and called him an animal. Hey! When you get empowered, your oppressors look too small. Stop magnifying them. Get power. By all means, get power. Get power. By all means, get 
original power from God. Because there's no need to fake it when original is available. It's original power. Man, that we are empowered. First, the oppressors are overpowered. Them. You are going to overpower us. You are going to overpower us. You are going to overpower us. In the name of Jesus. Child of God. It was Peter in Acts chapter 1 who was locking himself up and down against the crowd. In verse 2, when the power came in chapter 2, Peter stood there and shouted to over 5,000 people with that microphone and they repented. Power. Get power. Get power. Get power. It is power that draws customers to your business. It is power that magnets blessings towards your way. God help your people. Help your people. Help your people. Help your people. How do you get empowered? Stop crying. This thing of you crying before your enemies will not help you. Oppressors enjoy your tears. To stand up before them and say enough is enough. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of my family looking like this. Enough of my marriage looking like this. Enough of my child behaving like this. Enough of my husband behaving like this. Enough of my wife behaving like this. I take it by force. This is how I want it to be. How do you get empowered? Number one, chop prayer. Chop prayer. Chop prayer. Chop up. And then I said chop. Chop prayer. Chop prayer. In Luke chapter 6, verse 12, the Bible said very early in the morning, Jesus would go to the mountain. And the Bible said he would go to the mountain, talk and pray. The Bible said he prayed all night to God. In Luke chapter 11, he said, teach us how to pray. Teach us. They have looked at him in chapter 6. How then this man went to mountain in the night and prayed the morning. They said, teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray. We are praying it wrongly. We are not praying it right. Teach us how to pray. Teach me how to pray, Lord. And in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, he said that men ought to pray and not faint. That men ought to pray and not faint. So the problem we have is that we're not praying. We are so distracted. So distracted. We talk too much. We are talking about ourselves. Today we are talking about Zara. When last did you pray for Zara? When last did you talk about Zara? You just talked about Zara yesterday, but did you pray for Zara? We are talking too much. We are not praying. We are not praying. If we stand prayed up, we will conquer our oppressors. We are not praying. And these things are formulated by our oppressors to distract us. Jesus prayed. He prayed. All night. All night. He was praying. No wonder he came to the disciples and said, How I wish you can wait with me. I pray with me for just one hour. Because the spirit is willing. The spirit is willing. So there's need for your spirit to be empowered. 
Number two. Number two. By the word. By the word. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, he said, No man shall live by bread alone. But by the word that cometh out of what? Of the mouth of God. Some of you are big. Are fat physically or spiritually, you are partial mode. Because you, eat, you are not eating the way. Say, I am the bread of life. He that eateth me eateth life. People don't understand that. The Lord, he is talking about cutting his bodies into pieces, just kids. But they didn't know he was talking about the word. For the Bible said in John chapter 1, verse 1, he said, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was. So when he talked about I am the bread of life, he's talking about if you want to empower your spiritual being, the word is the word. From today, Take your Bible serious. Sir, you cannot just win without this. I'm telling you the winning formulas. Take your Bible serious. Study the Bible. Read the Bible. When last did you read your Bible? I'm not talking about the one reading on four. That one is distracting. You are reading chapter, John chapter 1 and you suddenly see a message from your boss. We are meeting to then the thing closes. You open it. We are meeting by 10 o'clock. Oh, this boss. Why are we meeting by 10 o'clock? The Bible is gone. Mm -hmm. The Bible is gone. Suddenly, the man is, what can I wear now to this meeting? What can I wear? They are having no shedding by 12. No shedding by 12. This means I need to take my shower now because if I don't do it now, it will be late. I will end up cleaning my body. So let me take this shower now and then rest my mind some more because that boy, I don't want to see his face. Then let me just rest my mind some more. Before you know it, the Bible chapter 1 verse 2 has disappeared. So get the hard copy. And when you are opening the hard copy, you are reading the word. The fools are out. You know how I know how much I've dwelled in the world? When on Sunday morning, my iPhone sends me a message, your screen time was down by a so-so-so percent. That's how I understand, that, oh, this particular week, I dwell too much in the world. But when it says the, the, the screen is high, I, I, I suddenly don't feel happy. Because I know High means I have to work too much in my food. Well, whenever I get that alert, it was high by 53%. It was low by 53%. It was low by 40%. I say yes. You saved. You, you, you didn't touch it for so I said, thank God. These things are distractions. If you want to be empowered, read the word every day. Number three is by fasting. Most of us are not fasting. Bishop, you need to fast. Prophet, you need to fast. Apostle, you need to fast. There's need for you to fast at least once in a week. God has lukewarmness. We are lukewarming a lot. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, Jesus said, This kind cannot go out except by fasting. This kind, there are some oppressors that will never bow out until they see you in the spirit. When you fast, you flame. When you fast, 
you fled. No nonsense stands around you the door. Some of you cannot fast. Declare fasting now. You declare your, your sickness. You declare your excuse. The reason why I am not fasting is because I, I am pregnant. There are people who are pregnant and they fast cystosis. It helps them to push the baby on the level day. Maybe it becomes so small and comes out and then become fat. I'm telling you what have, we have experienced, not what we don't know. Success was born in fasting period. We fast and fast. This is when we fast. When we ate fasting like never ate before. So when he was born, she was born about 2.9 or something. Then look at her now. I just dropped my wife before I could get the same that she gave birth. Stop giving excuses for fasting. I have also. One of my, my brother's friends, one day when we are fasting, and he, he said he had also. We still persuaded him to fast. At the end of the fast, the also disappeared. So many years ago, I was fasting for 80 days. I got to 80. And I felt like, ow, oh, it's really small to be 100 now. Let me make it 100. And one day, I started feeling pain. I said, ah. 82, it's increased. 83, it became worse. 84, I go good. And they say, it's awesome. I said, ah, it's pain here. Pain here. We started drinking many things. And this was approaching January, when we were going to fast. I said, does it mean that um, my own and fast have ended or what? Because I remember one of my pastor friends that used to come and sleep by our house. My wife knows him. She said, hey, Madam, Madam, you will know, Madam, Madam, food, food. My pastor friend, he is a very powerful man of God. Madam, food, no food, 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 food. I have also. Uh -uh. <laughs> madam, Madam, Madam. Man of God, did the body I make yesterday? Hey, 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 hey. Since I am, I'm not talking about seven. Five thirty. This man is talking for food. Don't put salt, don't put salt, don't put sugar in tomato. Say, hey. Okay, is this how I'm going to talk now? I talk a lot. You know what he came? I declared our fast in late that January. I won't tell you the young January. I declared it late. And I declared only nine days. Oh, I don't think it was up to 21. It was shortened. Because I was checking myself. Then when we finished the normal fasting, I noticed that the author was not disturbing me. I continued. And finish at 28. From that time till now, I declare any half fasting. I fast. The also doesn't stop me from fasting. We give too much excuses. We are not the devil to give us excuses. You cannot live without fasting. There's need for you to fast all the time. There's need for you to leave Madonna's alone. There is need for you to leave chicken in. There is need for you to leave corner. There is need for you to avoid the mission and fast. There is need for your spiritual man to be powerful and healthy in the spirit. Because when the devil sees you, he doesn't see how fat a boy you are. He looks at the spirit man in you. How big are they? What was happening before Saul was not David, it was what was in him. For you to overpower your oppressor, something in you must be big.
he meet it. Where we go to meet it now? A small boy of 21 years can tell a man of 40 years there who's going to sit down. Sit down, sir. Sit down. He tell him to sit down, sir. With the harsh voice. Sit down, sir. Sit down, sir. With the harsh voice. You know why? The man will look at him and look at the body he has and say, okay, sir. Okay, okay, man. He sits down. Not because of age now, but because of this guy has money. Money is empowerment. Is empowerment. Is empowerment. It's not by your size, it's by what is backing you. By what is backing you? Not by your size, not by your age. What is backing your business? What is backing your marriage? What is backing your ministry? What is backing your destiny? It has to be more powerful than the oppressors. Number four is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving has the power to perform miracles. So many of you don't know what is thanksgiving. I think thanksgiving is when you buy a car and buy a, a car. Thanksgiving is a thanks that comes with giving but involves your heart of appreciation. God, I'm happy. I thank you. In John chapter 11, when Jesus approached the grave of Lazarus, he said, Lord, Father, I thank thee. In John chapter 6, verse 11, before he performed the miracle of fish, feed, feed, feeding the, the people with fish and loaf, say, Father, I thank you. The moment he thanked God, death was overpowered. The oppressor of death disappeared. The moment he thanked God, it came from scarcity to abundance. If abundance, if scarcity is the name with you, thank God. Let to thank God. You will experience abundance. And lastly, is to create the environment for power. What do you watch when you are alone? It defines you. When you are alone, you are watching real. You are watching videos. You are watching YouTube. In the same YouTube, are some prophetic chants that can push you to speak in tongues for the whole day. But devil will not allow it to go there. The whole day, you are on YouTube, but never play a single gospel song that will ginger your spirit. Your spirit is slendering daily because there's nothing to feed it. There's something you can just play in the YouTube. The moment you play it, you start speaking in tongues. But YouTube will push you to go and watch one Korean movie. <laughs> something you don't even understand what they are speaking, but you are reading it from the screen. Who be Juju be that? The whole day, there was nothing that triggered you to pray. Everything that you watched triggered you to revenge against people, to hate against people, to remember what to do with people, remember what they did to you. That is what you feed your soul with. That is you feed yourself with the whole day. There's nothing that triggers you. There's nothing that reminds you of you who you are. There's a the prophetic chant you can put now. The whole, the whole room will become fire. Your eyes open. 
you cannot be great without spiritual greatness. You have to be great spiritually first. You have to, you have to, you have to. There's no manufactured greatness. Every greatness is worked for. So you have to work for your greatness. Trigger spiritual environment. Trigger it. Always trigger it. Don't go a day without playing something that will trigger it. Speak in tongues. Praying in the holiness. Jude, verse 12. He said, building your most holy faith. Building your faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. How do you... I'm not talking about people who don't speak in tongues. Pray for it, God will give you the grace. But how do you, who speak in tongues, go the whole day without speaking in tongues? It means the whole day you never connected the Spirit. The whole day. The whole day never activated it. No wonder you are how you are. La Kalaba do Shatalabaya. Nebra do Kata Liba Labaya. Nesuta Vila Bada Kota Labaya. You need to trick her. Because I tell you something. The Bible said that in, in, I think in Matthew chapter 10, verse 36, he said that the enemy, the woes of a man, the enemies of a man are there of his what? Household. Of his household. Your enemy is not laughing. Your oppressor is not joking. Spend your whole day in WhatsApp. Your oppressor is not in WhatsApp. Spend your whole day in Facebook. Your oppressor is not in Facebook. Your oppressor is around you. Your oppressor is living inside someone around you. Your oppressor is around the corner. Your oppressor is in your family. So for you to win, the Bible said in First Peter chapter 5 verse 8, he said your enemy is roaring, roaming around, roaring, like a hungry lion looking for who to devour. So it's not in your WhatsApp. Stop spending too much time there. It's not in that you're not gone. That is why, child of God, I want you to empower your spirit. That person that always calls you to gossip people, tell that person, let's begin to pray. Can I tell you something? Your best friend is a victim of gossip. Your best friend. It's not like we're gossiping, you know. It's, it's not like we are gossiping. <laughs> this is simply to push away the conscience. Tell your friend, let's start praying every day by 12 o'clock. Call me, let's pray by 12 o'clock. It won't last for one month. That won't allow it to last. You guys will forget it by 12 o'clock. You will be given a new task in the office. Something will happen. But make it 12 o'clock as a gossip time. Let's just refresh our mind and gossip people. That's where you see that your boss will be sleeping in the office at home. And my preaching here. Yes, sir. We have become too cold. Yes, sir. That is why the devil is dealing with us. We have become too cold. Learn how to pray. Because your devil, the devil, your adversary, is not joking. He's not joking. Correct that activity. That atmosphere of prayer. That atmosphere of prayer. See, there is no place you cannot create atmosphere of power. 
There's no place. There's no place. It was in jail. In Acts chapter 16, verse 20 to 26, that Paul and Shadow began to sing and pray. They were in chains. They were beaten. See, the worst thing that happened is for people to beat you and chain you. Which means you don't even have hand to touch that side that is burning you. So all night, these guys they are beating with rocks, but they are still find time to pray. They are still find time to sing. There are times when prayer is not enough. There are times when you need to just, just switch from prayer warrior to praise warrior to worship warrior. So the Bible said Paul didn't need to look for hammer to break the chain. Because the battles we are battling, we are fighting, are not for flesh and blood. They're not for flesh and blood. What we are fighting is not flesh and blood. If you are fighting flesh and blood, you will kill the flesh and blood and the power is still out of existing. Remember what I preached last time? I said to you, some of you think that your husband is the problem. You will leave that same husband and another husband you marry who will do the same thing because you are not dead with the pressure. You will leave that same wife. Have you not seen people who got divorced, married three, four times? Huh? They marry, they keep marrying again and again and again. After two days, because they are not there to the oppressor. They think the person, they, 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 they will see their ass even happy. So the moment I left, this guy bought a car. The moment I left, he built the house. Look at this girl. The great fake account to monitor. Cat. It is because you thought that the vessel is the problem, but the content is not dead with him. Am I preaching here? I hear you, sir. Paul and Silas began to pray. He prayed the prayer. And suddenly something happened in the prison. Shook. The Bible said there was an earthquake, and the earthquake broke the chains of everyone. There was light in the prison. So the little guard could see everybody in the prison with that chain. The Bible said he ran and took a dagger to kill himself. And Paul said, Don't kill yourself, we are all here. Don't kill yourself. We are all here. Because the man do not know what to tell the, the emperor the following day. How do you explain to the emperor that there was an earthquake last night? When he slept and he didn't experience it. How do you explain to the, the, the chief security guards that there was an earthquake only where you were? How come there was an earthquake and the building didn't fall? How come there was an earthquake and there's no sign? What are you talking about? And the man said, instead of explaining this unexplainable thing, I never kill myself. Can I tell you something? You can never explain miracle. Power is not explained, power is felt. Yes. People who try to explain power felt. Power is something you feel. Power is something you experience. Power is something you carry and it pops you off. Say, I have nothing to explain. And Paul said, hold it, don't kill yourself, we are still here. And I said, what? So you guys are left out of chair and you are still here. Say because we are waiting for the time they will escort us out of this place. They brought us here already, they will escort us. That was why the following morning the man went and the magistrate said, oh, Let them go, let them go. He said, We are not going. The same way you brought us and announced us as criminals, the same way you will bring us out and announce us as great men. Can I prophesy to somebody? What will it announce you is being released in your destiny now. Amen. What will announce your business is being released in your life now. Amen. What will announce your ministry is being released now. Amen. What will announce your life is being released now. Amen. Can I prophesy to you 
after this service. Your enemies shall give you a scot. Your enemies shall give you a scot. Be on your feet and begin to pray. Say, Lord, empower me. Lord, empower me. Lord, empower me. Empower me! Empower me! Against the demons! Empower me! Empower me! Against the forces of evil! Against the forces of evil! Empower me! 